This is the CS Moments. The topic today is neoadjuvant therapy, and the case is if a patient has no response to the neoadjuvant therapy and you have known staging information. I'm Donna Gress, AJCC Technical Specialist. If a patient has no response to neoadjuvant therapy, Remember, you should always use the information that demonstrates the worst case scenario for staging in collaborative stage. If the patient had no response to the neoadjuvant therapy, the worst scenario is after the treatment, the Y pathologic stage. This equates to eval code 6. For eval code 6, the Y pathologic staging information is used, which is the surgical resection pathology report. This shows failure of the neoadjuvant treatment, no response to it. Now, if you have known staging information, this means that the Y pathologic staging information is known. So you should record the Y pathologic stage information. This is the worst scenario than on the clinical workup prior to the treatment, which was the clinical stage. Now here's a scenario to help better understand the situation. The patient has a four centimeter mass in the left breast, infiltrating duct carcinoma, and the axilla was positive on exam with movable nodes and the core biopsy positive. Four months after the start of chemotherapy, the exam and imaging demonstrate that the larger breast, there's a larger breast mass and matted axillary lymph nodes. The patient went on to have a resection, and the resection pathology report showed a 5-centimeter carcinoma in the breast with extension to the chest wall and 5 of 13 axillary lymph nodes positive. This is obviously a worse scenario than what the patient had upon time of diagnosis at the clinical stage. So for the staging, you should record the Y pathologic information from the resection pathology report, the tumor size, the extension, and the nodes. You should code eval code 6 for the tumor size extension and for the nodes. The distant metastasis is always recorded prior to the treatment. The references for this are the Collaborative Stage Pre-Post-Treatment Staging Specifications Team, and further information can be found in the AJCC 7th Edition Cancer Staging Manual in Chapter 1. If you have any questions, you can submit them to the CS Forum. This is located within the Cancer Forum. It provides information for everyone, so everyone can benefit from the questions and answers, and it also allows us to track the types of questions coming in to help us decide which lectures we should do next. This is part of the YouTubes on our AJCC channel. They are short videos on both AJCC and collaborative stage topics that cover very important concepts. This has been brought to you by the Collaborative Stage Education and Training Team and the AJCC, the American Joint Committee on Cancer. Thank you.